Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Solid Fire, and I'm here with Hal. Hal, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Hal Rotenberg. I'm a developer evangelist with Splunk. Okay, so we're here at Cisco Live. What's the coolest thing you've seen, done, or heard here at Cisco Live? Okay, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the done, okay? We're going to, we're, we're not, that's not this kind of show. Um, heard about what I saw. So there, there was a really cool demo. Um, so Cisco, you've heard of Cisco? Okay, so Cisco, we're at Cisco Live. In the back, in the data center area, there's a guy talking about some cool stuff they're doing with event-driven SDN. Um, but the, the point of this is Science DMZ. This is a concept that's new to me. I didn't know what this was, so I'll explain it to you guys. Um, okay, let's say that you are doing some very large-scale data processing, moving around very large files, um, like, like human genomes, okay? Um, you know, just massive amounts of geological data, whatever it is, you know, multi, multi, many te terabytes of data. Well, in order to move that data over the, the network, maybe over internet too, so really high bandwidth stuff, in order to move that those bits and, and at, yet at the same time have some level of security, that's hard because whenever you have something that's, that's scanning the packets in real time, that introduces a uh, performance penalty, right? With me so far? Yep. So what you have is a concept, and they call these elephant flows. These are very large packets of high bandwidth of data. We have the need to move these elephant flows quickly, yet also securely, because you, you don't want this to be an entry point into your network. How, how do you handle this problem? So what they're doing, there's a couple different techniques, but, but basically you have two, two routers that you're at the edge of your network. One is the normal one with your 10 gig firewall behind it or whatever, and the other one might be your internet two connection. And instead of putting everything through the 10 gig firewall, slowing everything down, you're gonna have something, they're gonna basically go out of band. So these transfers will go in directly in your network, but asynchronously, you're gonna have something scanning that the, the path, you know, send, send the packets to an alternate route, inspect it, you know, passively, basically, let it all through, and then if you detect something that meets a certain threshold or, you know, somebody sending a bunch of SIN packets or whatever, trying to do some ha hack against you, then you've got this thing out of band that can say, hey, and this is where we get into SDN and event driven. Okay, I have an event, something's hacking me, and I'm going to go to my, my open flow controller or whatever it is that you're doing, handling your software-defined networking, uh, and then go tell the router, you know, make a change on your, you know, uh, a BGP, put a null route in there, drop that guy. So without actually being in the middle and being restricted to the speed of that firewall or that, you know, IDS, IPS device, you're still able to secure the perimeter of your network and yet let in the elephant flows. And uh, it was a really cool demo and they're doing some of the event correlation and the thresholding and the, and the driving of the uh, initiating of those events using Splunk. So I was checking that out earlier today. It's really cool. Very cool. So where can people go learn more about this? I would say go to Splunk.com, um, and we've got uh, a lot of solutions that we're doing with Cisco, and this is one that's actually at our user conference at the end of September. Cisco is going to be presenting this story. So I don't have a link I can give you right this moment, but if you go to conf.splunk.com, uh, we're putting the sessions up soon, and you can find some more details there. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Hal. Welcome. And we will see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.